Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. And praise God to get buddy back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The Dax is in the house. So check this out, man. Subriel Matias has a fight with Liam Parle coming up this weekend on the same freaking day as Javante Tank Davis versus Frank Martin, Alexander Rosnick versus David Benavidez, and so on and so forth. You know, it's, it's coming up this Saturday, June 15th. Good Lord willing. I'm excited to see it. I just wish it was on like, different dates. You know what I'm saying? So I can enjoy both festivities individually in their entirety. But anyway, on 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 um on the build up to the fight, you know, Super Matias is beginning a lot of a lot of interviews as he deserves and rightfully so, you know, naturally because the fight's coming up. But he released his top ten at 140 pound division. Excuse me what? He released his top ten at the 140 pound division and his list is crazy. <laughs> But I want to tell you, I love his list. You know why I love his list? Because it comes from him. He has experience in the ring. He's a fighter. If anybody's supposed to make a list, has a right to make a list, is them. And I love the fact that it's different. It's different. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us, you know, sometimes we put too much emphasis on statistics and the paper and, and you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and um, the resume, like I said, on paper and, and what we know in the rankings and the, and, and, the, and the titles and all that, man. I love to hear other people's uh, opinions. Because it differs from mine. I love that. It, 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 it introduces the opportunity for a good debate as long as you have an open mind. However, as definitively as I love his list, I equally definitively <laughs> disagree with it because it's crazy. Yeah. But like I said, I love it, man. I love it. So I'm not here to knock his list. In fact, I'm going to make my own list. And I'm not going to use anybody that's not included on his list. That's how much I love his list. You know what I'm saying? But looking at it, you know, I have his list right here pulled up of the, of, of the top 10 people at, at the 140 pound division. And at the top, you know, he said he has Regis program. You know, but the, before you get into it, before we break it down, man, <laughs> his top 10, man, immediately looking at his top 10, he, he does. I see Gary Antoine Russell missing. Uh, you know, they have history. I'm going to get to it briefly right now. You know, while he was on PBC, you know, uh, Gary Antoine Russell was asked about Super Matias and he claimed he didn't know who he was. Like, who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? He did not his he did not acknowledge his presence or existence. So this could be a little get back, rightfully so. You know, Super Matias being petty, like, okay, you don't know who I am. I'm not gonna acknowledge you on my list either. You know what I'm talking about? So it could be a little get back for that. So, you know, the little the, the friendly jazz, but they know who we who each other are. But yeah, looking at this list, I immediately see that there's no Gary Antoine Russell. What? I see there's no Josh Taylor, what? and I see that there is no Sandor Martin, you know, all three great fighters that are not on the list. So that makes me question a little bit, but however, we're going to stick with his list. And at the number one spot, he has Regis Program. And number two, he has Jose Carlos Ramirez. Number three, he has Teofimo Lopez. Number four, he has Jack Catterall. Five, Ryan Garcia. Six, Devin Haney. Seven, Richardson Hitchens. Eight, Isak Pipple Cruz. Number nine, Rolando Roly Romero. Rollies! You dumbass. Rollies. <laughs> and number 10, he has Liam Parle, who he's fighting this weekend. So, um, yeah, like I said, immediately I, with the absence of those fighters, we're not going to include. We're just going to break down his list. Number one, he has Regis Program, number one. It's hard for me to have him. I, I love Ruguru, man. Ruguru's a beast. He's definitely underrated fighter. But it's hard for me to have him not only above Devin Haney, but so far above Devin Haney um, when Devin Haney beat him. You know, beat him very convincingly and handily, you know, dominating performance. Hey, not nobody, y'all. <laughs> Now, granted, you know, if you're thinking about, okay, Devin Haney came in big, you know, say so he came in as damn near a super middleweight, he, he came in at 165, then maybe you could see that as an unfair advantage. And so maybe you could penalize him for that, but I can't have Regis Program over Devin Haney. That's number one. So my number one, to be honest with you, I would have Teofimo Lopez, number one. You know, and, and the fact is that I will say he's consistent for this because his number two is Jose Ramirez. Regis Program, Jose Ramirez, what do they have in common? They both lost to Josh Taylor, right? Um, so I would, I, me personally, I would put uh, Teofimo Lopez, uh, number one. Um, and then number two, looking at it, you know, I would normally put Devin Haney, um, but I can't have him on there right now, and I'll explain a little later. Number five, he has Ryan Garcia. Immediately, Ryan Garcia, he goes to the back of the line, and uh, that's because he cheated. You know, whether he cheated intentionally, uh, uh, purposefully, accidentally, incidentally, uh, but notes to him, it doesn't matter. The fact that he had cheated, uh, he, he, had, he had it in the system means he cheated. There's some controversy surrounding it, but it, it's in the system, and he cheated. I, I'm not going to rank a cheater higher than anybody on this list. So, number, so right off the gate, Ryan Garcia is number 10. Now we go to Devin Haney. Devin Haney... Um, you know, while he did get cheated, he's a victim of cheating. Uh, it's hard for me to get that imagery out my head, right? You know what I'm saying? So I still, even with the cheating, it's hard to take away how he got brutalized out of my head. 
So I can't really put him over over um, too far up, but I can definitely put him over Regis Prograde. So right now I have number one, Teofimo Lopez. Number two, I would say um, I have... It's crazy because Esau Pimple Cruz number eight. I got Esau Pimple Cruz number two, man. And, you know, um, and the reason why I could put him over Richardson Hitchens, I like Richardson Hitchens a lot. But Richardson Hitchens, he, uh, I thought he beat Gustavo Limos handily, but a lot of people thought it was controversial. They thought it was a close fight. I thought it was a close fight, but I thought Richardson Hitchens did enough to win. But the thing is, Gustavo Limos was a close fight, and I think that Esau Pimple Cruz is just a... Uh, Gustavo Limos 2.0. You know what I'm saying? They're both tough. They're both durable. They're both relentless and, and apply a large amount of pressure. But I think Isak Cruz applies better pressure. I think he's more relentless and I think he's more durable. You know what I'm saying? It's harder to hurt him. So I think he's a better Gustavo Limos. So I would anticipate that he would be Richardson Hitchens. Um, so I have Isak Pipple Cruz uh, number two. Number three on this list, um, this might be controversial. But I'm going to be honest, man. I might put Jack Catterall number three. The reason why I put Jack Catterall number three, because Josh Taylor beat quite a few people on this list. And I know Jack Catterall lost to Josh Taylor the first time they fought, but it was controversial, right? And the second time he beat him, clearly, in my opinion, even though some people said, oh, they don't think he beat him that that badly, whatever, whatever, he still beat him. And the right person won. So I have Jack Catterall number three because Josh Taylor beat, beat quite a few people on this list, uh, including Regis Progray and Jose Ramirez. So I got Jack Catterall number three. Um, number four... Let's see. Number four. This is kind of tough, right? It gets a little tricky. I'm going to put Richardson Hitchens at number four. You know, I'm going to put Richardson Hitchens number four. I'm trying to speed up a little bit. Number five, I'll, that's where I put Jose Ramirez. I put Jose Ramirez number five. Matter of fact, I take that back. I put Devin Haney number five. I put Devin Haney number five, which is not too different from uh, Super Matias. I put Devin Haney number five. Then I put, uh, uh, I put Jose Ramirez number six. I do put Jose Ramirez number six. Then number seven. Hmm. This is tough, man. Number seven, I might put. Number seven, I may put Liam Paro, man. I might put. No, 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 no. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Two hours later. Ooh. No, number six, I have Devin Haney. So number five. Oh, man, this is tougher than I thought. Yo, I got to keep track of it. Okay, let's keep track of it, man. Hold on. Give me a second, man. So number one. Number one, I got Teofimo Lopez. Number two, I have. Esau Pimple Cruz. Number three, I have. Mm, this is I have Jack Catterall. Number four, I have. Ooh, number four, I have. I have Richardson Hitches. Number five, I have Devin Haney. Uh, number six, I have Jose Ramirez. Yep. Number seven. Number seven, I have Liam Paro. Number eight, I would put. Rolly Ramiro. Rollies, you dumbass. Number nine, that's where I'll put Regis Progray. And then number 10, I have Ryan Garcia to, 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 uh, to round it out, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. That's my list based off of Subaru Matias' list. Once again, I'm not going to include anybody that he omitted. And I thought most, most notably he omitted three people. He, he, he did include quite a few people, but the most notable in my opinion was uh, Gary Antoine Russell, Sandor Martin, and Josh Taylor, I think they should be included on this list. But from his list, man, I, I love his list, man. It gives me opportunities to talk about it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Do you agree with Super Matias' list? Uh, who do you have winning this weekend? Do you have Super Matias winning or Liam Paro? I think Liam Paro is going to be a great challenge for him. I think people underestimate him. But I do have Super Matias winning in a very close fight. But be careful, man, because Liam Paro is a heavy underdog, man. You can, get a, you can get a quick flip, you know what I'm saying? So... Keep keep uh, keep that in mind as well. Uh, as always, y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Hey.